green light. It is go, go, go. It is a massive kick out from the line of the moment by Neuenhaus. We have got a big pack of riders. A great start by Thibaut Nice. He's moved up into third place at the moment. Congestion on the corner. Van Aert in about 18th position, I think. Van Aert in... Uh, Wow, 28th position, and that's been a long time since we've uh, called him that far down on to the climb. Now, this is long, it is really actually quite steep, but this is where, if you've got the power, you can make a move, and no sooner said than done, uh, Matthew van der Poel's decided, yeah, I don't want to be back here, try to make a move up. Well, the white world champ skin suit in there, no mistake in uh, Van der Poel. He threads the eye of the needle, he comes through another two places, thank you very much. Wout van Aert, the express train's left the station, look at their speed up here, but he's chasing Felipe Ors. I think Van Aert just got out drag strip there by Felipe Ors up the straight, that's something to put in uh, the uh, memento book as uh, Van der Poel makes about another three places on that climb. Oh, oh Van Aert has gone to the front now. I thought Austin was going to make the most of having the chance to lead the race out here, but Van Aert had other ideas. They both came either side. Now Van Aert bunny hopping over. Ron Hart choosing to run there. The world champion came here as a hot, hot favourite, but uh, his own admission, lots of training in the preceding weeks. But look at the kick coming again. Well, Felipe Ots is not going by Van der Poel. He's going to make this on one climb. Is he going to close this down? I wish we had a speed gun at the top of that camera because we'd be handing out speeding tickets aplenty to Matthew Van der Poel. What a kick up there. That is going to move him in to almost the position he can get on the back of the group. He's nearly there. Wow, Van der Poel looking like he's at his best, kicking out of those corners, putting the power down. He's not just just uh, sat there riding it up through a wee ago you can see at the moment fastest man on course Matthew van der Poel five seconds faster that little mistake there by Ellie is a bit uh, he's uh, just dropped off the back and I think he's feeling the pressure a little bit Peacock leading the charge here Van Turner is almost on his heels then it's a wrong heart another rider who is right up in the mix with Nunes now Ellie is, bit, is in for a bike chase must have been a problem with that bike may well be in a puncture didn't quite get to see that on the way through into the sand and go, if you are Wout van Aert, how much are you going to be saving getting ready for the big climb? Van Turnout moves to one side, he doesn't want to be making the running for somebody to take a run at him. Now comes the wind-up, Van Aert starts to put the pressure on, Van Turnout, I think he's just boxing uh, Van der Poel in there, that was a neat boxing in tactic, they can't afford to hang around too long because Thibaut Nice trying to get back to the leaders, as is Ellie Isabit. But all of a sudden we have 10 riders back together again. Who's going to be on that podium? Will Van der Poel be right up there? Lots of riders going very, very well here. Maybe you haven't done the work as Van der Poel has an issue on that turn. Well, what's happened to Matthew Van der Poel? He's got a long record. He's dropped right the way down. He came through. That looks like he'd been down. Here we go. Just going to get a replay. We see the bite. Now, that surely has been down on the floor. What happened there? Uh, that is a big one, and that could well have cost him. Uh, he is a bit on a scamper up those stairs. He's got hold of that World Cup jersey. Van Turen out on the front. And look at this, Van Turen out. He's starting to wind this up because he knows that it's going to come. Here comes the move. Van Aert has gone on the left-hand side. He threw it towards the barriers. And look at the explosive power. This is a man who can win a sprint stage in the Tour de France. You know you're up against it in a sprint he's just unleashing it on the uphill climb here he's going to take that right hand turn into the woods with a gap they went into that straight together that gap has opened now oh, look at that that is what you call being smart oh no and he's down, he shows not to bunny hop them, and he takes it, trying to remount off the sand, and it's allowed Van Turen out to get some momentum, he's lost the shade, he's hit the deck, and this is on the run into the corner, talk about risking it. 
Well done. Oh, really, really pushing it to the limit. He's going to come down the street. He's going to take it. I surely well found out. He's going to break it into a spell. He took it to the line. Well not your victor in round number 13 here in Benidorm. It is going to be Van Soren out who comes through in second. And it's going to be Thibaut Nice who takes third place on the podium. Fourth place early is a bit. Fifth place for Matthew Van Poel.